Welcome back to Jetline Marvel for another thrilling aviation episode. The full-scale transonic truss braced wing, which is expected to fly by 2028, is being developed jointly by Boeing and NASA. This aircraft might set the pace for future advancements in the aviation industry. As with other commercial aircraft, the classic wing structure consists of a single, fixed frame. The new design will replace the existing method of attaching two frame structures to the fuselage, extending the length of the wing, adding additional strength, and improving stability and effectiveness. The new design's development is crucial for Boeing, since it will maintain the footprints on small segment aircraft, while also achieving the most efficient aircraft that might result in a higher market share. Here are further technical details that NASA Bill Nelson has explained. This aircraft, which will serve approximately 50% of the commercial market, which is short to medium haul, single aisle aircraft, but we're going to reduce as much as 30% the fuel consumption with better engines, and look at this wing, longer and thinner. And it's so long and thin, it has to have a brace. But you can actually get lift on this brace as well as the wing, the old concept of the old biplanes. That is a revolutionary design, and this is going to be flying in 2028. It's our plan to demonstrate this extra long, thin wing stabilized by the braces that will make commercial airliners much more fuel efficient by creating less drag. And in addition to the design, the sustainable flight demonstrator will integrate multiple other related green technologies. This configuration will save fuel. And as we know, saving fuel is not only good for the planet, it means less expensive tickets for passengers. Flying in the US, you're likely to board a single aisle aircraft like the size, think of a 737. They are the workhorses of most of the fleets. They remain the most in-demand design and are critical to retaining American competitiveness in manufacturing. And Boeing estimates that the demand for the single aisle aircraft will increase by 40,000 planes between 2035 and 2050. And despite in advancements, these single aisle aircraft are also responsible for about half of the admissions today in the commercial aviation sector. And that's exactly why NASA chose Boeing for this project. Boeing's proposed design could make a significant contribution toward our goal of improving fuel efficiency, as I said, by as much as 30%. And we and they have a plan to make that a reality. This aircraft will be classified as a small to medium hull aircraft and can accommodate up to 100 to 130 seats, which is comparable to the E195 E2 seating capacity. Initial designs for aircraft will be tested in smaller sizes before gradually growing to larger ones. According to a NASA detail, an aircraft may receive a lift from both the upper and lower wing flaps. The program jointly funded NASA's funding through the SFD Space Act Agreement, totaled $425 million. The SFD program will also leverage up to $725 million in funding from Boeing and its industry partners to shape the demonstrator program and meet the resource needs required. 
Separately, Boeing's previous internal investments for recent phases of sustainable aviation research total $110 million. Share your thoughts on the scale demonstrator for a transonic truss braced wing. Comment below and let us know.